this is what I played with when I was in the sixth grade. Contrast that to what they're playing with today. The brain on this robot is more powerful than anything I had to play with even when I was in college. And for them, it's a toy. I'm Brad McCool. I'm a technical program manager at Honeywell Aerospace in the Ground Sports Solutions Group, and I'm a first Lego League coach and mentor. I actually coach with my wife. We coach a team of fifth through seventh grade students. Yeah! My daughter's on the team as well. Yes, my dad is McCool, super McCool. They experience the entire engineering design process from start to finish. Our favorite part is to watch them solve problems that they think sometimes are unsolvable. See, that's what it will show up like on the robot. After they've spent a lot of time working on something that just feels like it's never gonna come together. And then when it does, it's like magic. So this place that we're in now is called Gears. It's basically a collaborative space where teams can get together and work on the robots. You gotta make sure it's not crooked on there. What they have to do with the robot game here is have a robot perform as many missions as they can do in two and a half minutes. So will allow it to turn left. They design, they code some software, they download it into the computer on the robot, and then it goes out and executes their launch, is what we call them. Yeah. I'm mainly a programmer on the team. It means I have to get the computer, figure out the code, make all different sorts of blocks for it, and it's a lot of fun. I've been working for Honeywell for 22 years. In this case, we installed the RF TPS kits. In our group, we basically provide ground support equipment for the Honeywell products that are installed on an aircraft. Here we have two thermocouples on each probe. Brad is super smart. He was pretty intimidating at first because he is so knowledgeable. But I quickly found out that he's very, very approachable and has a teacher's heart. We produce products that make air travel safe and convenient. This cable needs to be stored flat and coiled and rotated this direction here. We get very good at troubleshooting. What is this product? What was the customer doing when he had a problem? It's a sequence of asking the right questions. And that's what's kind of cool about working with these kids. If they come up and say, hey, my attachment didn't work, you got to jump in and say, what was it supposed to do? What did you design it to do? By asking the right questions, you can get them to realize, this is not really a failure. Maybe nine out of the 10 steps worked. Then they can start working on that step to fix the problem. Honeywell absolutely appreciates the multifacets of their employees. This fits so well into his knowledge base for work. It's a great way to share that. They average all these readings together, right? Correct. Brad is a very hard worker. He treats everybody as an equal. You know, it doesn't matter what, you, what your age is. These kids are very creative. They learn and they don't even realize they're learning. That's what's really cool. They're getting excited about science and technology, learning the skills that will help them solve the problems of the future.